From 1615, the church built up a ring of three bells. But in 1925, these were declared unsafe and it was decided to melt them down to form the one three quarters of a ton bell that now rings out across the Mella countryside to call the faithful to church. And so its timeless call brings us to the present. And this history of Mella and Ludworth ends with a video portrait of a year in the life of the area as it is today. Everybody waits for the first harbinger of spring. Good Friday, and led by the local clergy, church members from all over the area begin the long climb up to the cross on Cobden Edge. It helps to be together with so many Christians. Let's take a prayer up by the cross. To show that we're going through what Jesus went through. <laughs> It's now known that the cross they're walking up to is situated on the same site as the ancient Bronze Age burial mound where the amber necklace was discovered. And it's interesting to think that people from the area have been drawn to this high place for many thousands of years. And for content on all my pride. Following on from Good Friday is Easter Day. Peter Jenner, the vicar of St Thomas's, makes light of the fresh fall of snow. <laughs> Happy Easter, Roger. I can't imagine Mary Magdalene forcing away through a snow drifts. As spring moves towards summer, the beauty of the area is there for all to enjoy. High summer, and the cows on Cobden Edge are producing rich, full butterfat milk as they eat the lush grass. Shaw Farm is run by the Burgess family, and George Burgess especially appreciates this time of year. The pleasure of going out in the morning, rounding up the cows, to see the, the rabbits up on the bank playing, and birds singing and so on, curlews calling. And you look across the valley at the A6 and the traffic is crawling along the A6 going into Manchester to work. And I thought, well, I'm actually at work now and I'm enjoying it, but I'm not sitting in a traffic jam. Summer is also a time for exploring the area and, as generations have done before, discovering gems like the Roman Bridge. As the rowan tree signals the ending of summer, Mellor Church prepares for Harvest Festival. And although the area doesn't now have a large farming community, it's remained one of the church's major occasions. September sees the start of a new lacrosse season with a new captain, Lee Seddon. And as Mella has a high reputation to live up to, this match against Rochdale will be fast and furious. You don't get a choice, you get a lacrosse stick in your hand when you're about three weeks old and, and, that, and that's it. First game's captain, first win. Fantastic. September is back to school time and Marple Bridge Post Office is descended on after a hard day's study. Three, two, one. 
It's a special week for Nigel Chadwick as he hands over the post office to Barbara Haywood. Barbara's taken over from me as sub postmistress yes. as of the 16th yes. of September Yesterday, 2009. For my sins. And um, I wish her all the very best and I'm sure she will make an excellent sub postmistress. As October gales begin to strip the trees, the landscape takes on the colours of autumn. Early December and time for Winter Wonderland. This is Ford's luxury mince meat. Christmas Eve, and up at Mellor Church, the annual crib service is getting underway. Benjamin the donkey is preparing for his key role, which will come after the service has got underway and the angel Gabriel has visited Mary. So our year in the life of Mella and Ludworth comes full circle.